No matter what online side hustle you create, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, Amazon vlogging, being an influencer, whatever it is, a product or service, you have to know how to test it. How do you know if this idea, this product, this thing you're experimenting with, how do you know if it actually has the potential to grow? Or how do you know if you should try something else? In today's video, as part of my free 30-day how to make money online course here for YouTube, you're gonna learn one of the most valuable concepts there is, which is how to test an idea or the concept of testing. When I started my first side hustle 10 years ago, I was super broke. So I needed to create this system where I could conservatively estimate or test if my idea was gonna work or if I should try something else. One of my very first side hustles was e-commerce. I didn't really understand what drop shipping was, so my idea of selling clothes on the internet looked like buying a bunch of hats, hundreds of sweatpants and sweatshirts, putting a logo on them, taking them to like a local place where they embroidered it or put, a, put on the uh, logo and stitching, and then sitting with this inventory. And no joke, it took me years to get rid of it. And by get rid of it, I mean eventually I had to just go donate it to the Goodwill. This was like seven years after I bought it. My wife who's working like all the way over here in this Airbnb, she finally thanked me because those boxes were in our closet for, for years. I just never could sell them. It was that terrible experience I had of losing all my money into buying all these bulk shirts and stuff that I was like, man, there has to be another way. So I learned about drop shipping, but just because you know about drop shipping doesn't mean you're going to start making money. In the drop shipping world, for example, they talk about, hey, you should test a bunch of products. Well, every single test costs money and you can find yourself broke pretty quick. If you're someone like me, you have ideas coming out of your head all the time, mostly bad. But I never ever, when people share their ideas, Adrian, I want to try this. I want to do something. What do you think about this? I always encourage them. Because of this business idea from the 70s called the Pet Rock. The Pet Rock, the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. A rock, which is you can get anywhere for free, was turned, marketed as a pet. And you think, oh my God, that, if you've never heard this, like, it sounds ridiculous, but it sold. It came in a custom cardboard box and they were marketed seriously as live pets. The founder, Gary Dahl, walked away with the cool $15 million from Pet Rocks. This is the reason why I will never ever tell someone that their idea is bad. In fact, what I will always tell them to do is test it. You never know what's gonna work these days on the internet. And that's what you're gonna learn in this video, a testing method that I use. When you create a side hustle, you should have a data-driven way to test your idea. At the beginning, your main goal is proof of concept. That means whatever your idea is or product that you're trying to sell, you need to prove the concept that it's worth more time and energy. And this is where my testing philosophy can help. So at last, I created a testing mechanism, a concept. I call it the 100 QP test which stands for 100 Qualified People Test. And essentially it works like this. No matter what you are trying to sell or attract people to or get someone to take an action, whether it's taking out their wallet and buying or it's uh, getting someone to opt into your email sequence or fill out a form to say, hey, I would like to work for you or hire you. No matter what that action is, you need 100 qualified people to make it to that designated offer page, opt-in page, or sales page, and based on the action or inaction that those 100 qualified people take, gives you the data to say, ah, yes, I proved the concept, and now it's time to take this more seriously and invest more money or time into it. Or if 100 qualified people show up and no one takes the action, then it's time to say, either I really screwed up like my marketing or targeting, I need to start from scratch, or I just need to try something else. Now, I wanna show you a real life example of the 100 QP test. At the time of this video, I was heavily doing e-commerce. And so on the fly, literally in the same day of recording the lesson, I actually analyzed and created the 100 QP test on the spot. So this is kind of like a documentary style video that walks through the 100 QP test. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So this is a simple formula on how I test my stuff. I call it the 100 QP test. 
And really in essence, what it means is that if I can get 100 qualified people to see or hear or visit my idea, I need at least one of them to buy or opt in or subscribe in order for me to think if it's valid to go on to the next steps where you're actually putting some serious cash. Okay, I scrolled for Facebook for five minutes and I found this. Uh, looks like they are some super goofy uh, subliminal uh, socks. Even though I'm a nerd and I'm heavily invested into internet marketing, I think the easy part of this is getting 100 qualified people. The hard part is having an idea that's worth someone taking out their wallet and giving you some cash or even just giving out an email. I'd say within another 10, 20 minutes, you can get your product up on any website. And then the game is about getting the right people, those qualified people to that page to see if they will buy or opt in. Google's a great place because when people type into Google, it's because they want to either learn or buy or take action. So uh, it's very obvious if someone types in animal feed socks, they're probably looking for exactly what I'm going to sell them. Uh, real time analytics for the product that I just launched. Um, and so everything seems to be going as planned now. A few moments later. I'm almost 50 clicks into my 100 tests and um, I'm looking, you know, oh, hey, that could be one right there. Um, I'm looking really in particular at my keywords and all my keywords seem to be pretty spot on. So I can say all the clicks that I've had are accurate. Let's see, I'm gonna check that sales uh, ding right now, let's see. Okay, cool. It was indeed another sale. Okay, check this out. And you can see right away that uh, that person also purchased two items. So even though I'm selling a uh, item for $14.99, um, I'm having, I've had two orders. And the first order was $32.33. The second order was $29.98. So um, I'm pumped. Why I wanna share this is because I think I hear people talk about their ideas all the time, but people never taking action. This is super easy. In less than an hour, you can have this up and going. Um, and it's been a couple hours now of having my ads run, my pages launched. With that spend, you can see a little over $400 in sales just with that 97 bucks. So in this 100 QP test, it definitely passes and it's worth spending more time to invest to try to scale it. But uh, let me assure you that um, I am testing things all the time and most of them don't pass the test. But things like this are just goes to show that if you take action, even on your dumbest idea, you never know if it's worth it or not unless you take that test. So that's an example of how the 100 QP test isn't just a theory, it's something that is a living, formula that now with whatever your idea is, it's your job to bring in those qualified people. And like I mentioned in other videos in this course, you basically have two ways to bring people to whatever it is that you're trying to sell or get people to do. You have organic traffic, which is posting and relying on algorithms to generously share your content to the world, or you have paid traffic. It does not matter how the people come in for your 100, 100 qualified uh, person test. The only thing you got to make sure that the biggest part of this formula is the Q. P. Q stands for qualified, right? You don't just want random 100 people showing up. Qualified means you want to have some way or form of knowing that that person was actually interested in whatever it is that you want to sell. Otherwise, if you just send a random 100 people, it, it's never going to you know, work out in your favor. So this concludes the first week of videos, kind of that introduction to the internet and creating an online business. And I'm glad it ended here with kind of the proof of concept. Cause now as you move into this next stages where you're learning specific side hustles and strategies, it's important to keep in the back of your mind, ah, I know no matter what I choose, my intention and full priority is proof the, prove the concept. So whatever actions that you are doing, making sure that it is going towards proving the concept as soon as possible because you wanna make sure you don't waste your time and money on an idea that's not worthy of pursuit. Proving the concept is still with me every single day because I still launch a bunch of ideas. Again, most of them are still bad today. But ultimately, I'm always trying to prove the concept at the beginning to let me know I should spend more time and energy, even if it's a bad idea. After all, it doesn't matter if you have a dumb idea. Gary Dahl sold pet rocks, made millions. 
Doesn't matter if you even love your idea. At the end of the day, this is a business. And sometimes it's not about what you think, it's about what your customer thinks. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and look out for tomorrow's video, which is gonna be the very first video that's a deep dive on one of my favorite side hustles. When I started my very first side hustle, I was working at a call center making $27,000 a year. If I could pinpoint how I got from then to now, it would definitely be by the power of habit. It's one of the hardest things to create, but once you have it, you feel unstoppable. To help you build it, I've created the Side Hustle Journal, which is a daily journal that will help hold you accountable to working on your side hustle and creating an amazing business and life that you love. Go to adrianbrambilla.com journal to check it out today.